Chris, thanks very much for joining us. There's obviously a lot of discussion around whether it'll be uh, a V-shape um, in terms of there being a strong downfall and then a, a, you know, a, a, a fast recovery. Um, uh, what's your sense of that? And also, um, how do you see, I suppose, the, the, the different sectors and the influence on, on those? I mean, I think the truth is, at the moment, we just do not know how long this crisis will last. We do not know how long uh, we will have to practice social distancing, and when when that comes to an end, exactly what comes next is also unclear. It could be a period of, of adjustment. It may not be. It may not be the case that we can flick a switch and uh, go back to the economy running at full capacity. This question this is having a different um, impact on different sectors. Some of the sectors that were, were impacted hardest and earliest were the hospitality sector, restaurants, and retail. Certainly any real estate that was dependent on travel and tourism impacted early and hard. Um, but we're now seeing the crisis ripple through to other sectors as well. Over the longer term, I think the retail sector does look uh, exposed in that uh, often cyclical downturns serve to accelerate structural trends. And we already saw parts of the retail sector uh, looking, looking weak. In contrast, it's possible that um, Logistics operators and manufacturers uh, and retailers seek to um, add resilience to their supply chain, uh, which may involve increased increased investment in logistics facilities. Do you think there'll be differences, um, longer term influences in terms of uh, office structures and, and working from yeah. home? Uh, I think we can expect some change. I think some people will be working at home for the first time. Uh, they will have acquired the technology to do so. Uh, they, they may be finding that it works well for them. Um, ultimately, I'm a believer that to do high value add economic activity, to do problem solving and idea creation, nothing, nothing beats face to face interaction. And so I think what we may see is that offices are increasingly designed to facilitate that with more collaboration area, perhaps more meeting rooms. Um, but perhaps there's a lower requirement for people to be sat at their desks doing routine tasks, which, which can be done remotely. Um, and just in terms of Aviva investors, obviously it's a challenging time for everybody um, looking, at, uh, looking at the asset management, portfolio management. Um, I, I suppose, how do you see the positioning of, of that? So there's no doubt that it's a challenging time. I think one thing that positions us relatively well is our focus. Um, we've been moving towards focusing on a small number of specific locations and holding fewer larger assets in those locations. And what that does is give us stronger relationships, stronger relationships with our occupiers so we can work with them to maintain the, the income and protect the value of our assets. And stronger relationships with the stakeholders in each of these localities, which should help us identify and exploit opportunity. Uh, once this crisis is, is over. Great. Um, thanks very much for, for sharing your insights with us today, Chris. Thank you.